Hey everyone, I'm Russell. And I'm Lindy from Love Crate Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. We are on week four of our Ultimate Playhouse build. If you don't know, we are participating in the Jeffrey Court Renovation Challenge where they have challenged us along with bear paint and frog tape to renovate a space in six weeks. Or in our case, build a playhouse. And we chose to build our ultimate playhouse for our three children in those six weeks. We're also against seven other great bloggers and DIYers who are also doing their own spaces. The winner of this challenge is based on your votes, so if you get a chance, we would love for you to vote for Love Crate Celebrate. I will leave that link in the description below. Please click that link, click on Lindy and Russell, we would love your vote. You can vote once a day, but we'd just love if you voted once. 100%, yep. As a quick recap, week one we went over design, week two was framing and sheeting. And week three was siding and sealing it up for making it weathertight. So now week four, we are moving inside the playhouse finally and getting some boards up and getting some paint up on the wall and starting to see some finishings inside. Yeah, it felt like it was going a little bit slower inside, like outside it's like we started from nothing, we built a frame, we sided it, and it was all this like big progress stuff. Whereas like now we're spending all this time inside and it feels like it's going slow, but this week was some big changes again, which was exciting. This video was sponsored by Wagner. We got to use their awesome paint gun, the Flexio 5000. Um, we've used this gun a bunch now, I'm loving it. It's saving us loads of time and it's given us a really nice finish. And we will link that spray gun in the description so you guys can check it out. Week four, we finished off doing the installation. We put the vapor barrier up. Um, we also realized that it got really hot in the top. Um, so we put a fan and we actually just used a bathroom fan. It was a last minute install before I got the hardboard up, which was the perfect timing. Hey guys, I wanted to mention a quick change that we made to the playhouse. We're actually adding a fan to the top level. We were getting a really good airflow in here through the windows that work and open, but up top it started to get a little bit warm. So we thought adding a fan to the top quickly would help keep it a little bit cooler. Um, and so far it's worked really well. So it just pulls the hot air out and up. Um, and yeah, so far it's been keeping the loft a little bit cooler and really comfortable to play in here. So yay. We had to um, change uh, the one wall a little bit because the fan was built for a two by six wall and our walls are two by four. So I had to build a little bit of an enclosure, which you'll see in the video, but it actually turned out really nice and it worked awesome to just to suck out that hot air. And then if you have a window open, it sucks the cool air up. So. But the next step was to install the hardboard over top of all the insulation and vapor barrier we had done. And this is a huge step because it totally finishes off the space once you get the walls in place. We decided to go with hardboard because I thought it would be a little bit more durable for a kid's playhouse. You'll find hardboard in trailers commonly. The reason I didn't want to do drywall is a little bit more prep work. I didn't feel like dust or sanding and taping and mudding. And I was also worried about just kids knocking the drywall, whereas the hardboard is actually hard. The only issue with the hardboard is that you do see the seams unless you put molding, which we just caulked them and painted them because for the playhouse it actually turned out, it looked really good. So that was their decision behind hardboard. It doesn't finish quite as nicely, but it was faster and hopefully more durable over time. So probably a good decision yep. in a kid's playhouse. To put the hardboard on the wall, we just attached it with um, staples, with our uh, heavy duty staple gun. We also had two walls where we put up plywood or particle board. We put plywood up on the one wall just because we knew we wanted to make it a climbing wall mm -hmm. for the kids and the hardwood would not hold the climbing lugs or handles. And then we also put, um, we, I used particle board, you could use plywood as well, but I used it where we we're putting tiling for the backsplash of the kitchen. I was concerned with 
when we went to do our backsplash area for the kitchen that the hardware board wouldn't hold the tile properly. And so what we ended up doing is we just put some, I had some OSB lying around from when we clouded the outside and we put that up first and we put the hardboard on front of it and we just left the little square where the kitchen would go out. Which all worked, ready to tile. Yeah, and it worked out well now because now our tile and hardboard are almost the same level, which looks really sharp. To finish the hardboard, we filled in all the staple holes with uh, drywall putty, and then we also used the caulking on all the seams, and that really, I think, for a playhouse, it looks really sharp. Yeah, we just put that stuff on, let it set, gave it a nice sand, and then once all of the hardboard was up and sanded, we were ready to paint. We did our casing. First we did our casing and then yeah. we were ready to paint. So I cased, I had to put casing in the window frames um, of the windows that weren't the two PVC, the plastic windows, and then I put moldings up and then we got those ready and then we painted. So we are getting ready to paint the inside of the playhouse. We have all the boards up, okay. everything has been puttied and sanded. I got my permanent window coverings in. <laughs> Hopefully not permanent. It's getting warm in here because we've covered up all the windows, covered Doors. up the doorway and the fan um, so that we can paint with the paint sprayer. We're using the Wagner Flexio 5000, we've used it before. I actually, I bet this room would take me two to three hours to paint if I had to do it with a roller and a brush. I bet I can get this sprayed in less than half an hour. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll time it. So we're gonna do primer and then wait a couple hours and paint everything. And then we can let some air flow back in. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we have something to do two coats. We're using all the good paint, which I find usually helps and usually you can just get a single coat of each layer. So, so here we go. We started using a primer, which we quickly sprayed with the Wagner um, Flexio 5000. I had to thin it down a bit, but we also painted on a really hot day, um, but it still worked. It went on really nice. And then it sealed all the boards and all the moldings at once. And then we let that sit. For primer, we used the Bare Kills paint and primer, and it worked really well. It was the first time that I used that. Well, for this project, we used it on the railing as well, but it went on really nice and it um, the paint stuck to it really well, it, it smoothed itself, it, it worked really well, yeah. I was impressed. And then we painted with an uh, um, interior eggshell, um, a white. We used the color Bit of Sugar from Bear Paint. Yeah. It's slightly warmer, but it's a really pretty white color. I thought it looked really nice in there, and I was right. Yeah. <laughs> And it's a little bit different than the medium amount of sugar or the high amount of sugar. It's just a bit of sugar. Get out of here. Get out of here. It took only half an hour to do all the priming, which is way faster than it would be to roll and brush everything. And we were doing the ceiling and everything, and we oh, didn't care about the casings. floor because yeah. it was going to get tile on it after. So Yeah, I think easily you would have spent two or three hours painting with a brush and a roller. And the paint sprayer goes on so smooth. And then the same thing with the actual paint. Yeah. Once we got the primer done and put the paint up, it was just another half hour and we didn't have to prep anything because it was already prepped from when we did the primer. So we saved a lot of time. Yeah, I really am impressed with the Flexio 5000. I've used a couple different paint sprayers now and I know this movie or this video is sponsored, but I'm being honest when I say like this one has worked really well. Yeah, we, it's would, easy. we would recommend it to yeah. anyone. Really. It cleans really easy too, which was one of my frustrations from other paint sprayers that I had used is they were just a hassle and they didn't clean properly. It was like this one, 10, 15 minutes, you have it cleaned and yeah. it's ready to go, so. Another exciting thing that happened this week is a bunch of our furniture got delivered. So we had a mini kitchen, a little couch, a little armchair, some little kitchen chairs, all that we ordered for the playhouse and it arrived and our kids got to test it all out. They were very excited about They loved it. They jumped in and out. Every time I moved a piece of furniture, they were mad at me <laughs> because they just wanted to keep using it. But I'm so glad that they liked everything. The scale of it all is perfect. Well. Yeah. 
I cannot wait to get it into the actual playhouse and see how it's gonna look in that space. So when we started designing and building this project right at the beginning, we wanted to come up with a cool name for it that was kind of our own, something that was maybe on brand if possible, but <laughs> something that was just fun for the kids. So we have some exciting news. Very exciting. We have been trying to come up with a name for our kids' playhouse. Yeah, the ultimate playhouse isn't what we wanted to run with for the long term. <laughs> and it proved to be very difficult. It did. A lot more difficult than we thought it was going to be. So we reached out to Instagram. We were like, inspire us, give us all your names. We asked that we were looking for something maybe like LCC related, like Love Create Celebrate something related. Something brand. LCC mini, <laughs> something monochrome since we love black and white so much. But we came up with nothing. No. So we kept brainstorming. I mean, you guys gave us some ideas, to, or Instagram gave us some great ideas too. But then I had... An epiphany. Epiphany. Yeah, that's a big word that I was using. Yeah. Wait for it. You want to hear it? Do you want to hear it now or do you want to hear it? No, we don't want to tell them. Okay, wait for it. We decided to call the Playhouse... Wait for it. No. <laughs> We decided to call the Playhouse Kids Landing. Kids Landing. So this is coming from our love of Game of Thrones, and it's just a play off King's Landing. Yeah, we, we thought it was kind of fun. We thought it was super cute. It's such a cute name for the Playhouse. And I don't know, I might stick with that motif and try and do some crown art or yeah. something really fun for the kids. But anyways, let us know what you think of our kids landing name. playhouse yeah let us know in the comments if we should keep it or there's still time if you get caught if you comment right away you might be able to influence us in our decision and come up with a cool name that is true so we do have a week left yeah at the end of week four we wanted to start getting ready for our week five to-do list and one of the which is big big <laughs> with a yeah. lot to do in one week um one of the big things though is we are in a tile challenge and we haven't tiled anything yet we're planning to tile the floor, but this is a playhouse. It's not going to be heated all the time. So I'm going kind of above and beyond just for the tile process. I'm putting an uncoupling membrane down, and this is just going to help prevent cracking between the tile and the wood floor if there's any different movements and contraction and expansion due to heat and cold. And then we're also using an epoxy grip. But this week, all I wanted to worry about was getting the floor ready for tile. So we put the uncoupling membrane down, and then we also filled the un uncoupling membrane just with thin sets so that it was nice and smooth because we're using mosaic and mosaics aren't very nice to do on uneven surfaces. You get a lot of bleed through and it makes a huge mess. Of the things that. Yeah. So we got that those two parts done and then that means we are ready for our fancy tile next week. Well, as you're watching this video, we're probably tiling. We are tiling the floor tiling the wall, and then painting our little feature wall. Right, you and the kids. <laughs> so week five is going to be a really busy week. We're getting all those things done, as well as building the ladder, the railing, and finishing off some furniture pieces that we custom built to go with the ones that we ordered. We couldn't find, I mean, we did actually look because it would have been quicker just to buy mm -hmm. stuff, but we couldn't find stuff that fit the space exactly how we wanted it. So yeah, we're building a couple pieces. Next week, there's a lot of stuff happening and it's going to be the big reveal of the space. I cannot wait to show you guys. You're going to see the full exterior and hopefully a finished interior. Worst case scenario, you see an untiled floor and no furniture. <laughs> But that probably won't happen. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what we've done so far, please let us know in the comments below and let us know if you have any questions about the Playhouse build. And as always, hit that bell so you can be notified of more great DIY and home renovation videos. If you didn't get a chance, don't forget to hit that link in the description and vote for Love, Create, Celebrate and our Playhouse build. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. See you guys.